cues. Oh my gosh, Diane, I am so glad you are here. I got my food. Yeah. I haven't cooked in months. <laughs> You've been months. You never months. cook. <laughs> I, mean. I mean, I'm like, what do I do? I haven't right. used this microwave. All right. I can help you. Okay. And, and, and I can help you, the residents, who probably never thought they were going to be reheating food from our dining rooms. But life has changed, and we're here to help you navigate that change. So first, I would yes. open up the microwave and make sure okay. there's nothing inside it. All right. I just pull the handle. Right. Open and it. Open. And there's nothing, and there's there. nothing here. Perfect. but And it's nice and clean. Great. All right, so now we know that because yes. you don't want to have something that you may have stored in there, especially, oh. I see you have a metal, yeah, but why do you have a metal container? Well, I wasn't sure if I should heat this soup up in this bowl because it's a nice bowl. No, 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 no. I can't put it in. No, no metal. metal. No metal. No metal. No aluminum foil on top to okay. cover. Because what will happen is the microwave will just go berserk and it'll it'll cause a fire. a fire. Okay. So, so no metal. So it came to me like this with this really nice lid. Can I just put it in like this in the microwave? No. No. Because this plastic. What's going to happen? Oh, it'll melt. melt. Will melt. Oh, I don't want to eat plastic. Right. And the plastic will go in your food. <gasps> That's so, not good. So not, not a good okay. thing. Okay. Right. And... Okay, I, should I put this in another bowl? That's what I would do. Because to me, okay. this may not stand up to the heat of okay. a microwave. I think it's a microwave safe bowl. I did check that. Well, that's great. Is that one microwave safe? Yes, it is. All right. So, so it's right there. And some will say microwave safe. Safe, yes. And some may not. But basically, your glass is a good thing. I would avoid okay. plastic. Okay. I would avoid cardboard. Okay. Uh, but if you have a nice, like I see you, like you, a also, ceramic. you also brought a plate. It could be a plate, but not, of course, for, for soup. soup. Yes. But a bowl, you could do a coffee mug, ceramic for coffee soup. mug okay. for the soup. Yes. Um, but anything like that, okay. and then you want to pour the soup in. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it over the stove so I don't make a mess. Okay. Okay, so I poured my soup into the bowl. Right. I've opened the door. Right. Now, and I'm putting it in. Should I put something over the top? Yes, because once so it, doesn't it starts make a to mess. Heat, it will start to splatter, and okay. then you're going to have so, to cover it. So I would either use so a I'm going like to put this. I'm going to put it upside down so it has a little venting. You could also use like a paper towel. Okay. A paper plate that is not plastic coated. Oh, so like the old fashioned The old paper fashioned plate. flimsy paper yes. plate. You can even use your coffee filters. Oh, good idea. So anything like that, don't, again, no aluminum foil, nothing metal, but something that will cover okay. it so that when it, it doesn't heat, splat. it doesn't splat. What if I have one of those things made for the microwave, like a splatter lid. Don't they make lids? Sometimes we have those too. Uh, again, so if you have long, that as long as it says it's microwave safe, you're okay. good. All right. So now. Okay. So remember all the food that you are getting from the dining rooms are, it's already cooked. So you do not want to overcook it because it, then it dries it out. Yes. Or it can also not necessarily get burnt, but... Yeah, it'll be more well done than I probably want it. Right. So okay. it's always better to err on the side of a little less at the beginning because you can always add, add, add time. Can do it more. Right. Okay. Okay. So... Okay. So I'm just going to guess. So this says cook time. So I think I need to put in cook time. Right. So I'm going to hit cook time and it flashed. Right. And I'm just going to do two minutes just to try it. But then it says power level, because right now it says it's at 10, which is the highest. Right, and because should I remember change small, that? Yes, and it's a small quantity. So make sure, maybe I'll do five, since you it's small. You can start it at five. Just yes. so, so it says five. Mm -hmm. So I've done two minutes, power level five, and then I'm gonna hit start. Exactly. Boom. 
Well, let's see how I did. Oh, I need, it's hot. I good, need good, to, good point, because you don't, a lot of times, they will even tell the servers, when you reheat something in the microwave, you should wait maybe 10, 15 seconds before you remove it. Because yes. even the ones that say microwave safe containers, they're going to get hot. Okay. So, and be okay. careful. You can so use I'm going to be careful and just use the corner knife, and I'm going to take the lid off first, because I know I'll make a mess. And then I can get the soup. If I have two hot things, I would use those. But I only had one today, and it is perfect. And if you think you need more time, yes, just put it, put in it back in. You know, again, I would do like a minute. Okay. And and you could increase. Sometimes you could do a power eight, for instance. Okay. And but keep it simple. Keep it simple. You can always taste it. Yep. See if it's the right. Temperature. Uh, temperature for you. Okay. But remember, you do not have to worry about making sure it's cooked because it's, it's already, already cooked. cooked for you. Diane, thank you so much. I would give you a hug, but we're not supposed to do that. No. So I'm going to give you a fist bump, an elbow, to say thank you for helping me figure out this microwave because it's been a while. And my understanding is that next time you pick up your meals, you're also going to have microwave instructions. Dining Services is working on that as we speak. And they'll be doing a special at our studio to talk to you about how you're going to be ordering, um, some updates on some possible changes. But definitely they're going to be talking about how you microwave all this food. So we hope you've enjoyed our little snippet of instructions. And oh, by the way, ladies, men can do this too. So don't <laughs> think you're stuck in the kitchen. That's right. That's right. Make your spouse do his own plate. <laughs> there you go. Thank you.